Pokemon game I didn't finish. Okay. Uh, I, I beat the gym, right? And the gym leader is just like, all right, uh, I'm not going to give you the badge here. Come to this, oh, come yeah, to this cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, come to this cave. And I was like, man, screw you. I'm done with this. I didn't give you my badge. And I turned off the game and I took it back. I never played Pokemon Black and White again. So I probably missed out on a lot of cool stories. So I've heard. But, you know, whatever. Anyway. I I will say, you know what, uh, speaking of Pokemon, we'll be going to the classic starter for this Pokemon Stadium 2. Yes, speaking it is of Pokemon, we've got Wolf and, <laughs> and Sephiroth. Sephiroth, two really important Pokemon. <laughs> well, it's Sensational versus Cranky. Of course, Cranky on and this Wolf, and it's Sensational on. Of course, you already see Dang, the Sephiroth. I didn't even know Sensational still played. I Me mean, either. It, it's <laughs> He was a Falcon main, right? Yes. Am I crazy? Okay. All right. No, you're not wrong. All right, yeah. Falcons recognize Falcons. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's almost dead. And um, I'm unfamiliar with Cranky. I know Sensational was a really sick Falcon in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. and, um, seeing the switch to Sephiroth is pretty cool. Good oh for Cranky. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a rough recovery time, but able to use the Wolf Flash to come back on the stage, understanding how those edge guards can be against Sephiroth. Yeah, that was a really nice high recovery uh, from Cranky. But he's going to have to mix that up because now if he goes high and Seth just stays on the stage, that can yeah. be, you know, a stock or a lot of damage. That can be an up air, an up smash, a read, and then you have to be very careful. The one thing I enjoy about Cranky here is he goes for those safe options on the shield, gets away, and then punishes Sensational for him, for him trying to get him out of there. Yeah. Sephiroth is so cool, man. I know he kind of plays slow and methodically, but mm -hmm. it really feels like you're fighting a boss. He does, he does, game. he does. That's so cool. That was my favorite thing, is that Sakurai knows that this is a boss-like character. Yeah. Then he gave us a boss-like challenge yeah, in exactly. order to unlock him early. And even when you're playing against another person, it almost feels like a one-player like story mode game, and this is just a really hard character to beat. I don't know. It feels cool to play against Sephiroth. Yeah. I, I really like it. Oh, oh, my God. And it feels really cool Good. to get forward air down air. All right, well, Cranky, like I said, he's doing an excellent job. Like I said, he just knows, all right, cool, move in around the shield. I have to be careful when I am going to get whiff punished, but yeah. also when I can punish Sephiroth for trying to get me as well. What a great empty hunt to come in on that cross. up, get the throw as well, and then watch how Cassette Station is going to be coming in with that one, off the slash one. Yeah, Seth really trying to uh, take the stock as quickly as possible without racking up too much percent on his last stock for game one. Ooh. Unable to land these aerials, he's just misplaced them uh, ever so slightly. And then the one he finally does place, Cranky is able to get his shield up in time. That was a nice, uh, almost a really nice roll read from Cranky. All right, Cranky using those platforms to get back towards center stage. I like that patience too. Yeah. Wait to see how Sensational is going to react from that corner. Yeah, Sensational is uh, staying grounded and F tilting a lot, but Cranky's just kind of hopping over them with aerials, and that's where Cranky's gotten a lot of his damage so far. And that's good, too, because a lot of Wolf's aerials like Nair and Bakka are excellent for putting in damage yeah. and also confirms. He is F-tilting right now. Nice jump. Gets all the way across the stage. Yeah, please get me away from that <laughs> as fast as possible. I like that. Get a little bit of the shield pushback. Yeah. Usually your opponent will jump out of shield to try to get away from you in that situation. Yeah. Sephiroth not having the craziest out of shield options either. That was really smart. I mean, mm -hmm. he has Nair out of shield, but other than that, uh, yeah, his... his out of shield options are kind of lacking. So just being able to walk against Sephiroth's shield and like kind of trying to predict when he's going to try to jump there is really cool. But also good on Seth to just stay vigilant in his shield, knowing mm -hmm. that Wolf can't kill me in this situation if I just hold the L button. And the worst punish he'll take is a grab. Exactly. In which you can DI properly and still survive that back. Oh, he brought it all the way back, and Cranky's shield is a peanut. Oh, what a great nice grab, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. excellent really, grab. Yeah, really great change up there. Sensational, though. He's looking to come back here at 101. We're into 101, oh. but the back air reading the jump from the corner. Dude, I don't know how Seth brought that. I blinked, and it was Yeah, it, it was, was even. even. Yeah. And that's the beauty of previously meeting Falcon. You know how to make that comeback, even when your opponent doesn't I see it happening. I guess so. Yeah, He's dude. got the Falcon mentality. I'm still going to win. Real quick, I, I want to give a quick shout-out to Fatality. I had the... Beautiful pleasure of having to house him, pick him up. He is a great guy. Yeah, Fatal I love Fatality. Yeah, I love him. I love him. We, we got to talk about music, music <laughs> he's into, his favorite cat. Uh, good time, man. I got to show him a little bit of SoCal because he's never been to Little Tokyo. So uh, we'll talk about Oh, speaking of Falcons. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> this is what I remember. Sensational <laughs> on the Gold Falcon. I used to argue with him that this color is ugly. Cause this color is ugly. This yeah. color is ugly. Man, we agree on a lot of stuff, fans. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, so um, for those of you unfamiliar, uh, Cessational was a really, really good Falcon. 
um, in Smash 4. I don't remember what region he lived in, but it was not here. No, it was uh, not. Yeah, 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 he is definitely out of state or, like, moved to SoCal or something because he was pretty far away. I don't even know if he was in... No, he was in America. Never mind. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I, I, I know he must have been somewhere. From, I can't remember if he was from like New Mexico. Yeah. Exactly. I just remember he was out of state, and he used to come quite a, quite a few times. Anyway, this is going much better so far than the Sephiroth game. Even though he was able to bring the Sephiroth game back, he was playing from behind the entire set or the yeah. entire game. So uh, this is looking a lot better. However, Wolf can annihilate a Falcon stock with, I mean, one touch basically. The crazy thing too is that that was the character that Fatality told me he can only see himself losing to is Charlie's Wolf. If he actually plays. And curious enough, yeah, Wolf is one of those characters that can give Falcon a run for his money. Yeah. Uh, it, it's kind of hard for Falcon to um, do some of the things that he really loves doing in neutral just because Wolf's Nair stuffs out a lot of, like, the startups of Falcon's moves. Um, so you have to really space your aerials correctly and kind of predict when the Wolf is going to Nair a lot. Exactly. You, you kind of have to over... Now I wouldn't say overextend. Making sure you're getting your move first before Wolf even gets yeah. in there. And maybe even stay a little bit more grounded. Exactly. Than Wolf, Wolf is one of those characters that he can't force you to play his game. Ooh, got a little greedy there on the punish from the uh, from the Raptor boost. Trying to get an F smash, not going to work out. And Seth is going to be able to capitalize and take his first lead of the set. Nice. And that's a good down smash because Falcon's hurt box extends when he does go for that up in ultimate. So you have to be careful. What a great recovery yeah. from the depths. Able to trade even stocks now. Right, so far, very, very even stock too. This should be a lot of damage. Oh, I don't know if he meant to instant dash attack or if he actually was trying the forward tilt. He might have actually uh, misinputted there. Yeah, go to crank it to go for the empty hop. Wait to see how that get up option is, but unfortunately just executed too fast. Yeah. Ooh, really good DI from Cranky there as well. I think he DI'd down in a way to avoid the up. Oh, watch yourself. How you're gonna get hit by that knee though. That was so close. Oh, nice Raptor boost. Kind of walks back, uh, shifts his hurt box back a little bit to avoid the hitbox of Wolf. I still have to get, give credit to Sensational there. He went for that up smash yeah. because he knows Cranky's last option after being juggled is to go to the corner and try to survive. Uh, oh, great tech. That was really wild exchange because Seth actually guaranteed himself oh. the kill. And then Cranky, I don't know how Cranky lived that situation. <laughs> Oh, Seth accidentally grabbed him with the up B, and so that that like yeah, made that, Cranky that. survive, and then Seth was actually uh, unfortunately just fell. Uh, and now, or even stocks again on this game too. Seth trying to keep his winner's bracket run alive, and uh, Cranky just trying to take him home with a 2-0. Oh, so close to that force match, seeing him on the ledge. Nice parry from Seth, getting a little bit of stage control, but Cranky steals it right back with the double fair. It's been really hard for uh, Seth to get any really long strings going, which against Wolf, you know, normally you can combo Wolf pretty hard once you yeah. get your initial hit. So really good stuff to Cranky. His DI has been on point, and that might seal it. Oh, I was going to say, watch yourself on that get up. You've been yeah. hit by that twice. That oh. third time is most definitely oh. going to be on your shame. Seth misses two really crucial opportunities to kind of get back in this game. No jump, uh, though. The Acid Classic and the Woo! need to finish it off. Yeah, that is, that's beautiful. That's what he tried to do the first time, and he got the weak hit of uh, knee, knee and was forced to up B right back into uh, Cranky's side B. So Seth cleaning it up there at the you know perfect time in game two, and now, uh, now we got to see game three. Yeah. And uh, more Falcon Wolf action coming up on your way. It's a fun matchup to watch. I, it, it, to I watch. think it's one of the few matchups that I could definitely tell you I enjoy seeing. Yeah, it's sick. I think both these characters are really cool. But actually, I don't like Falcon that much in this game, to be completely honest. That's funny. The conversation I had with Fatality, he told me he enjoys this character way more. Yeah, I think the character's better, but mm -hmm. he moves like a dump truck on, like, that's stuck to the ground. And okay. I don't, I don't Com like... Compared, yeah, compared to 4, yeah. yeah I just compared, don't like yeah, the way that his dash works. But it, it's still really fun to watch. He's really fun to play. Um, yeah. All right, Smashville for our uh, final game of this set. The Sephiroth not working out. Seth just opting to stick with the Falcon for now. Frankie proved himself against the Sephiroth. Of course, the smaller stages will cause both these players to interact a little bit differently now. Wolf won't have that much time to go for Blasters. Yeah. Unless he securely holds advantage, but also he's got to watch himself too because now Falcon can easily just obliterate your stock in a stage like this. Ooh, that was a really smart forward air there from Frankie. Uh, a lot of Falcons after the Raptor boost on shield, they'll often try to pressure you with jab. You push the wrong button. And Cranky kind of DI'd back just a little bit and then uh, walked in with the fair. So good. Cranky's DI in general and just placement of his character against uh, Falcon has been really, really superb. 
No way. Nice, okay, guy, nice yeah. guy, yeah, yeah. Held his jump for that long. Back air, excellent play here by Staffroth. I'm sorry, Sensational had one more jump to save. Able to get over it. Such a close game three, both around 86%. I like that from Seth too. He goes, he jumps, gets back to the corner because he sees where Cranky's looking to be. He wants to whiff punish him for an older extension. That was a really cool attempt there from Cessational. Basically, if uh, Cranky had come down without jumping, he would have fallen victim to that up smash. But he's still able to clean it up. And uh, once again, Seth takes first stock with Falcon. You know? What oh my God! Oh. I, I don't understand why that works. Mm. Like it's a true combo, and I just feel like it shouldn't be. <laughs> A lot of damage here from Seth. Cranky starting to, uh, to maybe lose his composure here just a little bit. There's going to be a couple forward airs coming out from Cranky. He's trying to set out Seth with a Falcon kick to stop himself from getting edge guarded that way. Up smash. It always feels bad to get hit by that Falcon kick coming down. Because you know if you don't, if you shield that, you get such a big punish off them whiffing that move. So. And it's a, it's a good check too, because like, are you yeah. jumping to try to edge guard me this yeah. way? Fine, get hit by the Falcon. Falcon kick. Right. Or are you in reaction mode, or are you in <laughs> guess mode? Exactly. Because, yeah. It's a good check on that. All right, sensational. Oh like I mentioned God. earlier, that up B does leave Falcon Hurt Box out. It's going to be in his hand, and that down smash is going to clear it, but man. That move's been nerfed, by the way. It's still yeah. killed at like 50 just now. It's killed like 30. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, that was insane. Anyway, Seth uh, evened it up with an up smash as soon as he came down from the Angel platform, and now we've got a last stock situation for this game three. Probably one of the closest sets we've had so far. Excellent parry there to stop the advancement from Cranky. Great read on the Wolf Flash. Able to get this clean punish across the stage. Big oh. corner carry and a big landing to get that down smash. Oh, no. Okay, oh, oh my Seth. God. That was no. so risky. That was, Okay, it paid off. It paid off. It paid off. That was very risky, though. Oh. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that knee was the bet at all knee. And somehow, even though he lost the exchange, he was able to come back to stage without getting hit.